All right, um, now we got it. Y'all wanted the closed system. Here it is. I think the same solar panels, if you'll swing over and verify these are the same solar panels that we had on the last video, we're using the same solar panels, the same setup that we had on the last video. Now we have a closed system. If you swing it back over on me, if you'll swing down on these seven batteries right here, there's seven batteries, and these are called half batteries because they're the half the size of a regular battery. There's seven of them. Now we started running this at 6 p.m. last night just on the batteries alone. No solar panels were hooked to the system. It ran from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. this morning off of these batteries, pumping water all night long. That was 15 hours that it pumped water. The battery voltage on each of these batteries was 12.45 volts at the end of that 15 hours of running. These two sweet people right here were here to witness this. Is that true or not true? Uh, y'all were here when I measured that this morning when I took it down. And y'all verified it was 12.45 volts. Now just like right now, the battery voltages in, in about three and a half hours. If y'all will hold this up, so that she can see it. Now when I hook across this battery now, it's gonna show 12.8 volts. That is 12.8 volts, right? If I go to this battery, it's gonna be showing right at the same thing. 12.8. If I go to these over here, closer to this negative power, uh, it's gonna be probably even higher. 12.8 something. And then this one here. 12.8 something. And this one here. 12.8 something. They were at 12.45 at the end of 15 hours of running. Already these batteries are charged. In three and a half hours from this solar panels, these batteries are in parallel with this motor. But I have a diode in here so they can the battery voltage cannot go into the motor. It can only these batteries can only receive power. They don't put out any in this setup right here. Now when I switch it over at the end of the day, then it runs strictly on this and the solar panels are taken out of the system. At nine o'clock the next day, it's hooked right back in again. This would perpetually run itself. It's obvious. If you look at the height of this building, if you'll shoot up so they can see the height of this building, the height of it and the area of it, if you put solar panels across the top of this building, it would run this entire building and then some of this motor right here because the voltage would be so high, this thing would be going at a high rate of speed and it would be a closed system. Where? In Mobile, Alabama, where you don't see anything running off of solar panels. And as they will tell y'all, now we started, now y'all can verify this, that we started running this at 6 uh, p.m. yesterday afternoon that we ran it off the batteries. But Joe will tell you, I started running this yesterday morning. Uh, he came down, it was already running off of solar panels. It's ran for over 30 hours straight. Now the battery voltage is already charged up. And now they verified, they were a witness. We all stayed up off and on all night long to verify that this ran from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. this morning. True or not true? That's right. And they all was a witness, plus I was a witness. We can verify it ran steady all night without any hitch. The same RPM, this thing is, and even if y'all see a cloud go over this, you'll see this RPM not noticeably change. It'll keep running at the same RPM. It's done it all night long, it's done it all day long, now Joe will tell you, this morning it rained right here, hard, it rained hard. This RPM stayed basically the same. Is that true or not true, Joe? That's right. And we were hoping it would rain while the camera was here, but it, this is twice now, the camera's come out and it hasn't rained, but as soon as you leave, it'll start raining again. Yeah, and it rained this morning before you got here. Uh, and it rained hard, but it didn't rain like very long, about five minutes. 
But clouds pass over, and you'll see clouds pass over probably while you're here. Uh, but the notice, the RPM on this motor won't change where you'll notice it. That means it keeps pumping. You have a steady force of power that is a constant, which people want in industry, and they want it on, you want it on your home. This can be made practical for the whole world. If I can do it here in Mobile, imagine how it's going to work out in the West. Now, right now, a cloud, you can see a cloud goes going over that system. But if you swing back on this thing, it's still going at the same RPM. You can hear the click of it. It makes the same kind of a click. RPM of this stays basically the same. It changes so little, you can't even hardly tell it. Now, any other motor, when that cloud went over it, it would stop. It wouldn't be running off of these few solar panels, especially a machine that's 7,500 pounds hooked to a 375 pound pump. And so people can see it if you kind of walk this in the back so we can verify. And that's still producing, uh, every time that happens, over a gallon of water every time that happens. And that runs constantly, and you can see this pump right up here that weighs 375 pounds. And if a man tries to turn that by hand, he'll find that it's so hard to turn that he can't turn it. Yet those solar panels run it, and it's running it right now and charging those batteries at the same time it does it. And it's got a 10-foot head on this, the same 10-foot head, if you can shoot up there at the top of that they can see the head that it's got to pump that water all the way up to the top. What do y'all think the world should be doing on what they're seeing right now? They just had a big deal over the national news that had two billion people watching this thing with Al Gore about the pollution of the earth and et cetera, and they want a solution to it. Now, those people really mean that, and what would y'all have to say to them and to the world about what they see right here and that this is the solution to what they meet together and blow smoke about? Here's the solution for the world. Just to take uh, salt water, convert it into fresh water. That's what it proves when you run this right here in Mobile, because y'all are from Mobile, and you know there's no solar panels running any kind of device in Mobile. Plus less, running it all night long, <clears throat> and then charging those batteries in three hours. After it runs for 15 hours, these solar panels, they lose such a little bit of energy, the solar panels totally recharge them in three hours. It shows you they haven't lost anything. That's the magnitude of this. Uh, now, what would y'all say to the world? Now, y'all just say what you what you believe. You should get behind it. Well, it's 100% clean energy, absolutely no pollution, and the world ought to jump on it for that reason. In addition to that, you're getting free energy. That's what it amounts to. Janelle, what do you feel? This is a closed system. What would you say to the women out there? I would say that it's a life-saving, Again, this says it all. In a little more than three hours, when these battery voltages was down to 12.45 volts, it's back up to 12.8 volts of power, showing they're totally recharged in a little over three hours' time, just by these solar panels. Why it still runs this motor? The uh, seven and a half thousand pounds of pump, 375 pounds of a 10-foot head and it will perpetually do it, always. This is a closed system, and it's what the world said they wanted to see. They have seen it. It'll turn salt water into fresh water. It will do away with your cost of energy. In every home in Mobile, this is showing every home in Mobile and every home in the United States, can use solar panels for this technology and run their home. Do away with the pollution of the earth, the same thing that two billion people 
were all meeting and, 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 and singing and carrying on about, but they didn't have any solution. Here is a solution to it. <clears throat> you should, everybody who sees this should contact that organization and tell them to get behind this. This is the solution that God has given. The sun is from the God, it's from God. This technology is from God. You have a closed system that will run forever until these batteries finally fail and won't take a recharge. That's when you'd have to replace them. Other than that, it will keep running over and over because the sun's going to be there. Maybe every 20 years or so, you'll have to change these solar panels. But this machine, you just have to replace two bearings in it. Nothing else is going to wear. Uh, other than the brushes that you have to change maybe every 10 years, it takes you five minutes. <laughs> and that's it. <clears throat> but this does it. Uh, everybody who sees this up on Google and the internet should contact their news media people, uh, send a copy of it tell, to the news media, uh, send it to uh, the people who are trying to do this worldwide of wanting a solution to the pollution of the earth. Contact all those organizations, get them to look at this, and the world get behind it. That's how it will be brought forward. Thank y'all.